What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to go into Aspen Dungeon with our newly kitted out Sword Flash Shia. Uh, we should have everything set up on all of our heroes. Uh, as you guys have seen, we've regressed a lot of heroes, so we just have like puppets for days and years and months. Weirdly enough, just weirdly enough, the thing that like that we need the most on this account is spirit. Like more than promotion spawns. More than anything else, we need spirit. Uh, so what that means is we're gonna definitely visit this shop. We're ooh ooh thirty thousand. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. Um, we really just care about stellar shard purchases, wishing coin purchases at this point. I have so many PVP tickets, and the big one here: promotion stones and spirit. Spirit is something you probably need to start bit buying like constantly if you're doing these upgrades, just as like I am. It just takes so much spirit, it's ridiculous. So it it's only 500,000 for 250,000 for each one of these, but just buy them. If you're not buying them, you're probably gonna fall way behind on spirit, or you just need to simply not build heroes. Like, I don't think we're building regular five-star heroes anymore just because it just doesn't seem worthwhile. So let's get going here. Let's jump out and jump right back into this. Oh no, I hate when it does that. I think we just lost. Oh, I hate how it switches the order of your lineup. We're so dead, right? Oh my god, we just threw away Neos. At least it wasn't a different hero that we like really cared about, but I just hate how it switches the order around. It's so, so annoying. There's energy bugs. I wish they could just fix Aspen Dungeon finally. Just fix it. Fix it and we'd be fine. <laughs> All right, we got like a shield wave here. I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. Ooh, man, they actually do slap pretty hard, though. My goodness, that was actually kind of close. That was a little scary right there for such a healer-type wave. Um, Okay, so we need to go with our Vesa here. This is that difficult one that has the Eos. It's not as bad as the one that has the Olivia. But we're, like, never going to get actives off. We only have three Demon Potions on this run, too. Oh, this is not great. This is definitely not great. We got the Eos, though, which is the most important one. Uh, but Eos is still going to be dealing damage to us. We're never going to get active because we don't have marker removal. Luckily, we have CC removal, but... Uh, b -b 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 I don't know how this is going to play out. <laughs> I really don't know how this is going to play out. There's a health swap. I guess we're safe. But once we get to the extra rounds, it might get a little sketchy here. We need to kill this Sherlock off like ASAP. He's just being so annoying with the health swaps. Oh my god, the health swaps. Okay, alright, alright. Now we should be able to heal back up. Yeah, we'll be we'll be safe. Good lord, round 20? <laughs> oh my goodness. 23 rounds for a Vesa. Good lord. That's crazy. Um we should be fine one on one. Especially since we never get attacked, essentially. We just dodge everything so long as we are faster than that enemy. Vesta's got energy. We're going to need it right here because double CC means we cannot send our sword flash into this. We just got to hope we don't get twined and doved to death here. We need to break out and get some attacks off here and there. The poison stacks are going to be annoying. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes, we got rid of the two twines. We are safe. We are good. We got the victory. I hate those health swaps. <laughs> Going right past the shield. Just not even caring about the shield. It's like, yep, yeah, bye-bye. Uh, we should be good on here without any energy. And we do have to use our energy sparingly on this fight or in this run because three demon potions is horrible. Yeah, that's an easy clear <laughs> if I do say so. Uh, should be good on this one. Might take a bit of damage here. Yeah, we only got one dodge, but that's not bad. Actually, we're going to come away with this with energy. Yes. All right. I like that wave. Um, yeah, I'm just going to send her in. I feel like Vesa might be a little too weak against this wave. The one that we sent Vesa in that was really bad was a Drake Rogan double Ithaqua. That was like a really bad wave. Honestly, that one was still really bad too. 
Ooh, that black hole mark at the end of the round really packed a punch. Um, you know, might as well see if we can just use Lord of Fear Aspen. Since the other two have energy, I'd rather keep it. I don't know if he can do anything here, though. Because he's just, like, he's using his cards, right? Like, we just, we can't. <laughs> um, We do have a lot of healing with him, though. So it's, like, promising. It's just going to come down to that health swap might kill us. Like, a health swap into his attack might be brutal. Although, no, he can't health swap because he doesn't have cards. Because he's using them all for the CC effects. Very interesting. All right, I'll take that. That's kind of something we needed just to save up some energy. It's pretty cool. Uh, there is a CC effect, but we got to go in because there is an Amon Ra. We dodge that. We dodge that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no more CC effects, so we are definitely good here. Oh, wait. There is a CC effect. I kind of forget about Amon Ra's active. But hey, it worked out. It's fine. We are good to go. Uh, solo wave. Do we try to run someone else to get energy, or do we see if she can? I think she's just going to use an active and blow him up. Yep. Well, it is what it is. Let's keep going here. Uh, should be fine to send you in, because you should go first. Yep, so we won't... Well, yeah, there is potential to get feared. Well... This is not good. Um, thank you. <laughs> I was getting really stressed out. I'm like, please, please, pretty please. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. All right. Healer wave we can handle with our sword flash. Got rid of the Vesa immediately. That's kind of the only dangerous one. The rest just heal. They don't really do any damage, especially since we have the mark removal. Ooh, we're going to get some energy. I love this hero. Just absolutely love this hero. Oh, no. I mean, I think we have to send our sword flash in and just hope we don't get CC'd. Like, oh, thank God we took out the CC -er immediately. That was huge. I wish we had, like, data to tell us which hero had the lowest HP in every type of wave. That would just help so much to know who she was attacking and then we could decide, like, what we're doing so much better. So this one is the one I think we died on last time. And that's because we attacked Gustin first. I'm going to use a Demon Potion. And hope we don't kill ourselves. Okay, interesting. Oh. Okay, okay, that was fine, because last time we did it in the first round, meaning we didn't have a heal associated with our damage. This time we did, so it kind of paid off. There was also a penny that other time, too, which was probably part of the problem as well with the reflect damage. Okay, not too bad. I think we're good? Question mark? Okay, good. We do take one round of ping damage, but it actually is not even that much. That's kind of annoying. We're going to have to deal with the dodging until we... Oh, God. That's going to be a lot of damage, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Well, we found another wave that we absolutely hate. Probably should have sent the Vesa in on this one, I think. Might have been the safer bet. Just annoying sending her in versus sword flashes. Might get the yeah, I mean we will win. It's okay. The sun I think absolutely destroyed us there. Good lord, are you kidding me? Look at the little sliver of health that is left. I don't think his attack can go through, can it? I think. Yep. Okay. Sure. We'll take it. <laughs> Energy oscillation for the win. Um, let's see how far our Lord of Fear Aspen can take us. Then maybe he can do some stuff. Some heads up battles here. Right back at you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever can lock down the other one better is going to get the W. <laughs> yeah. The energy oscillation, just taking away all their energy so they never get an ability. Yeah, that's the fun part of his skill here. 
Uh, he actually might be a really good hero to use against solo waves, too. Um, yeah, I kind of want to make him a stronger hero now. I think he's using Rui, which is why he's very squishy. But, um, this is kind of looking good against solo waves. So, if we do have solo waves in the future, because obviously we're going to need to push further in the future, uh, Aspen is going to be a really good one to use on here. Like, really, really solid with that combo. Let's test him out against two heroes. Because they're in the same row, which means the fear effect should go on both of them. And I think it works the same. The only time he's probably going to struggle is against quad waves. Because he can't put that fear on everybody. I know his act ability says it puts fear on everybody, but it only puts it on everybody in the row he's attacking. And, uh, yeah. This is a pleasant surprise. So even though we lost our heroes really early... We get some pretty important data out of this run. Oh god. Um Sure, let's see what he can do. He might just die instantly though. Oh no, the fear does go on. And an energy drain. <gasps> the fear effect still gets applied even if they dodge the attack. That is huge. Oh my goodness, he is so strong. I like how we just see these floating presents. Now, this one he might die on because it might be too much damage coming in. Yeah, this one, yeah, it's just the black hole mark. I was like, he's probably going to die here. Jara might be fast enough to go first. Nope. Black hole mark didn't kill. Interesting. Yeah, there it goes. So, uh, okay, we'll take away from this that our Lord of Fear Aspen, Mr. Krampus over here, pretty solid and this animation is just so weird for a fast been dungeon because you can see it constantly so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time